All right, we're here. We're back. I was gonna say we're here and we're queer, but you know. But that's not true. <laughs> well, at yeah, least one half of it. But um, <laughs> one half, in other yeah. news, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a while since we uh, started recording. Unless you but, watch um, like back to back, it's pretty instantaneous. Yeah. It has been a while though. Yeah. Yeah, this is a new session. Um, I forget what we're doing. Um, we have to. The doc? No, not the doctor. No, it's. Oh, we uh, just listened to. I know we just yeah, listened we, to Lilia. Yeah, we listened to the whole conversation. Wait, wait, wait! I remember now. Did I look at the map already? Oh, the map. Yep, I looked at the map yeah, already. So did. then you just have to go there. That's all that is. All right, let's go. Oh, so um, you know what Oops. I was doing yesterday? What were you doing yesterday? Playing Wind Waker. Yeah, really? Yeah. Mm, I I don't know why this is gonna sound like kind of weird, yeah, about that. but like Wind Waker is my favorite <laughs> game to play on a rainy night. Really? Like um, it's like a weird like nostalgia thing. But when I was a kid, and I was like maybe in like fourth or fifth grade, I remember rushing home, and it was gonna rain, mm -hmm. and like as soon as I got into the house, it started pouring outside. Oh okay. And so like, I was like, you know, what am I gonna do? So I just started playing Wind Waker with like raindrops on the window and like heavy yeah. thunderstorms. So like now, like when I play Wind Waker and it's raining outside, it just brings back like that flood Those of like, memories. Of feelings. Yeah, it's great. Hello, sir. It's such a good game. Yeah, it's it's pretty damn good. It's I feel like it's timeless. I would agree, honestly. I mean, it's most, aged very, very well. A lot of the other games are like just timeless in that way. Oh no, no, I, I absolutely I would, agree with yeah. that. The only games I would say are not like like super timeless or like Twilight Princess because you know HD graphics only hold up so well when the game was made and you know. The, the, the early like the, the I feel like the gameplay is like pretty good though. Oh, the gameplay is great. I would play the game again. I mean, I'm playing it. Again, I was like, Alan, you mean right like what now? We're doing right now. <laughs> and the AC, AC pack <laughs> looks good too. Um, pretty sure this is the right way, right? There's oil on the bridge. Yeah, yeah. All right, That's then the cutscene. But um, <clears throat> I mean, like this game is timeless itself. I just mean, you know, you know. Yeah, what I, I mean. love this game. I think of all of, all those little games, this is one the ones I play the most easily. I've only played this, like a few times, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like, like I, I wanted this game so bad when it was coming out, yeah, like so bad. And then I hear yeah. kids at school talking about it, and I wanted to like, yeah, you join know, the conversation, but I couldn't. It's funny because you know, E three just happened recently when we were recording this. Um, <laughs> so I that like, reminded me about remember Twilight Princess uh, E three reveal, how like that was probably like the most excitement. A video game I still remember when that was new. Dude, that was crazy. That was like, what? That was a also, kid. look at this fucking sniper. How the fuck did he hit this shot? Look at that. It's Perfect. Like, he right, trained, his whole, right he trained his whole life for this. He styled all, styled all over, and he's like, watch this shot. Come on, put your Boom. red, take, put your take red that tunic out. on. <laughs> you can walk right my through red it. Tunic. I'm a wolf. <laughs> did you ever die at this part? I didn't even know you could. You can, if you don't um, push the block. You know, like so. What is it? It's just game over, or does it just it start just, the mission over? It's just game over. You get to start doing this again, basically. But yeah, if you don't jump off, you just lose. Off we go into the water. You know that'd be a death in real life, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> but I'm Link. So like I'm uh, you'd be like, flat <laughs> <laughs> against, uh, against the surface of the water. <laughs> Minda's like, well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> The feel like the world of this game is very like eerie and depressing sometimes. Especially, well, yeah, especially in the Twilight realm. Definitely. Well, because there's a big debate: what's the darker game? Is it this or was it Majora's Mask? I feel like Majora's Mask has heavier themes, but so, this game looks darker. I think that like um, lighting and everything. Yeah, I think that this game aesthetically is uh, much more gritty and like dark in that way, but Majora's Mask. Has a more creepy, um, like atmosphere, atmosphere, and like the like character designs and like stuff like that. Like, like the Happy Mask Salesman is creepy as fuck. Yeah, he really is. <laughs> He's scary as hell to me. Like, I, like when I when I first saw him, I was like, that is that is not okay. <laughs> nothing in this he game does have a does very that to he me. does have a very eerie presence. Yeah, nothing in this game does that to me. Like, do you ever get the feeling like the Happy Mask Salesman is the kind of character who knows things but he's just not telling you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get, I get exactly what you mean. It's like, this game just, like, 
It's aesthetic just like, fits I, like, the tone. Like, right. like, look at this dude. Do you see this game scary right now? It's a sad <laughs> clown. This is a sad clown. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? that? <laughs> a customer. Don't worry, sir. I'll handle him. But yeah, I mean, both games are dark in like, in the, like their own way, I guess you could say. <clears throat> I just, I mean, like, I'm not, I don't mean to compare like Zelda games. Like, yeah, I know, I know everybody likes to do it because they're you both know. good. They're both good. And the other thing is that this game is a lot more like Ocarina of Time, where Majora's Mask like focus so much more on like the side quests. You know, like for Majora's Mask, the side quests make the game. You know. Yeah, I absolutely agree. But for Twilight Princess, the main story is mostly the game. Like. There are some side quests you can do, but for the most part, they're just like add-ons and stuff that you can get to improve the base game. That's really all it is. Like, like to get a bigger quiver, you, you play a mini game. It's like okay, but what does everybody do besides give me a bigger quiver? <laughs> I feel like like Majora's Mask is a very quality title, and like yeah. a lot of it. I don't know. I under, I can understand why some people it, like it just doesn't appeal to them. I I get it, but I also feel like people shouldn't ignore like it's like very very high positives yeah because there's a lot of great things about that game damn it missed and you know for a game that reused almost like the majority of the assets from Ocarina yeah. at the time oh yeah like yo they did a great job at that yeah normally people would see that as being lazy i know right but like it it was like the complete opposite yeah all right you have a year to make this game okay <laughs> and they made like possibly one of like the most creative zelda games ever yeah definitely Come back. Let me bite you. Well, let's be real. Majora's Mask is like not an easy game for children. Nope. Definitely <laughs> not. I <laughs> definitely tried to play that game and failed. <laughs> I, I had a hard time with it when I was younger, too. Yeah. But I was, um. I don't know. I got like some of the things, but I mean, I wouldn't recommend give, like, having Dead. an eight year old play it. They'll be like, what is going on? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Alright, Mina, do your thing. I'm your new master now. Settle down. Something tells me she's a dominant top. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I saw a terrible fucking chart on Reddit, and it was uh, a f it was four Persona Five characters, and it was like the charts where it's like they look like a sub, they are a sub, they look like a dom, but uh -huh. they're actually a sub. Uh -huh. It was like looks like a sub is a sub. Futaba. I'm like, oh my, oh god. my god. It was like looks like a dom, looks like a dom, but it's actually a sub. Makoto. It says Jeez. looks like a sub, but it's actually a, a dom. Haru. Oh, wow. <laughs> looks like a dom is a dom. The doctor. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> I said that if Joker and Haru were in a relationship, Haru would make Joker the bitch. I I don't know. She just gives off that vibe. Yeah. Where she's like sweet and innocent, but she's like, hey, <laughs> now it's my turn. <laughs> yes, in that tone of voice too, my by God. the way. <laughs> it's like have that dick nice and ready for me. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> no no, you heard the man. <laughs> you heard the man. God damn. <laughs> Speaking of, you heard the man. I was <laughs> once again. I was watching a lot of Futurama clips. I mean, I know. that is a great, amazing, great show. amazing show. Honestly. I think it's probably one of my favorite like adult animations. Honestly, it's so it's, good. It's definitely up there. It's there's not a lot that's wrong about it. Well, I feel like it's another it's, one of those shows smart. too that's as aged very, very yeah. good. It's a smart show. The guys I wrote the show are like literally like. Well, yeah, but they <laughs> actually did their research. Like, they're very smart. Like they're both like. Um, they yeah, got like, PhDs, like, like PhDs and everything. Yeah, they have like doctorates in like different fields of science and stuff like that. Um, this is fucking the story. The, 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 those two times that there's actually like a story bit, it's good, you know. Well, there was no limit to the kind of story they could tell. That wasn't there. Yeah. I did watch a review on the series, like a retrospective on the series recently, and like I agree with a lot of what they said. <laughs> it was a very good show. The only things that were confusing were sometimes like Fry and Lila were like in love, and then the next episode yeah, they like they that. didn't know each other. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's there is there's a, like definitely some like weird continuity things with it, but that's just it doesn't think, take away from the experience. Yeah, I feel like that's just part of the show being like what it is. It's not really supposed to be like a continuous a thing you could just like watch continuously. I feel like they made it with the intent that you can like jump in anytime and still and have just a, enjoy have yourself. A good time. Yeah. You know was a, you know who was a very funny character that we usually never talked about? Ooh. Mom. Mom, yeah. <laughs> but mommy, I thought you were gonna make monkey cakes by monkey cakes. I meant your ass. <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> monkey cakes. 
such a funny, funny show. And it's not like crude no. either. That's one reason why I like it. Yeah. I don't know. As I get older, I like, you know, I like shows that are like not as like edgy. Mm hmm. Like, um, you ever heard the saying? It's like the older I got, the less and less funny family guy became. Oh, yeah. And it's like, it's kind of true. But I yeah. got older. I still think Futurama's hilarious. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I don't know. I'm just like tired of that humor. Yeah. I mean, at least the family guy, like the newer stuff, has been actually stepping away from that kind of stuff, which is actually like. Has it? Yeah. I, I have been I keeping recently, it. I have not been keeping it. I haven't really been keeping up either, but like, me and some friends were like sitting around, like, playing a board game. And we just had a. Um, oh, yeah, Angel's just, the, board game, the board game king, by the way. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, we were just like playing a board game and we just had the TV on just like to have some background noise. And there was like a family guy playing it and then like they were like talking about some stuff. I was like, huh, that's actually some kind of real shit right there. <laughs> like it was the episode, like the whole thing of it was like, um, like the people of Kohog not wanting a statue of like their, like the hero of Kohog, I forget his name, getting taken down when he was like, uh, a racist or whatever. Oh, so it was, like, he, uh, like, he like a hole or something. Like he's like a racist or something. Like he like, uh, like took land from like the Native Americans or something like that. And then like this was like brought to light by by Brian or something because he's like a reporter for whatever reason. And then they just like <laughs> they're basically like all trying to like take it down and then oh shit I press A to that's times. happened to me before. Yeah, that's that, you can't mash A at that part. That, that's like that that they did that literally just so you can't mash A. <laughs> That's a real bitch move. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go on. But, yeah, um... And then, like, in the episode, the, the Native Americans come up and they're like, do you ever ask us what we feel like? And then it's like, <laughs> you know, like, it's kind of true. People get offended for the people all the time. I mean, like... Maybe we should hear what they have to say. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> That's really annoying. <laughs> I fucked up. Twice. You should get that heart. I should. Hold well, on, Minda. But okay, but, I, 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 yeah. didn't, I didn't know that. That was like saying, like, this is actually kind of like a relevant thing. <laughs> kind of sort of. Now, I'm not saying it's like completely amazing now or anything like that. No, 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 I'm I know, I know. It's like you're, episode. I mean, at least you, look, I always say this. You can dislike something, but if it has good qualities, you can admit when it has good qualities. Yeah. Like, don't be like, no, this is terrible just because I, I hate it. Like, maybe you should like praise the good stuff it does do. And yeah. I can, I, like I said, I can always admit that. Um, me heart. Um, no heart. Heart? Yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> so this is random. I don't. I don't know why. I, I think I know why I'm talking about it because I was. I was like just watching Majora's Mask stuff re like, lately. Yeah. What is your opinions? This okay. is so random. Yep. What is your opinions on the Gilded Sword from Majora's Mask? I don't. I don't think his design is like amazing <laughs> oh you mean like just aesthetically how it looks yeah i think it's okay like it it's supposed okay. to be the strongest sword in majora's mask and i yeah. think it's pretty okay yeah i think the razor sword looked cooler i think the razor sword looks cooler too <laughs> and it, you, you lose like it a, after 100 like, hits it's yeah. kind of that's so ass <laughs> yeah it, it's a really it is a cool looking sword the gilded sword i feel like it looks cool in its own way but um yeah right can you agree with me i agree yeah i i agree that the the the, the um what's it called again the razor there's it's the kokiri sword then it's the razor sword then it's the um the, the gilded, gilded sword. sword i think the razor sword does look cooler than the gilded sword gilded sword i would agree you know what sword looks lame though the great fairy the sword. great fairy sword. I, knew, I knew you were gonna say that <laughs> Well, it's also weird because it's an item. It's not an actual yeah. weapon. <laughs> I really don't. I feel like they should have just made it a weapon. I feel like it's all right, but it's like for all the effort you take to get it, it's like I'm not yeah. really ever going to use it. Yeah. Like, I mean, I it's all right as a weapon, but I think they really should have made it like a like uh, earlier item in, in, the, in the chain. Like, I yeah, get, you get it, it like the last. I get it being like the final thing, but once you've done all the dungeons. Like not yeah, I know. I was just like talking and losing my channel <laughs> um yeah but um like once you like did all four dungeons you're about to fight the final boss is like what's the like what's the point of having this you have the fierce duty mask at that point. well especially if, yeah if, if you get if, that if it's if like literally that. there's I no like, challenge i feel like if you went to the effort of getting all the fairies you probably got the fierce duty mask too what is also your opinion I like I'm just asking your opinion on Majora's Mask. Yeah. What is your opinion on the 3D version? I fucking hated the Twin Snakes fight. 
Oh, that was the, okay. That so was terrible that, that in the 3D do, version. Yeah, I have I have like different gripes with like different parts of the 3D version for Majora's Mask. I I understand trying to change it up. Like yeah. I get it. I get it. But like, they didn't even tell you how to beat this I fucking thing. Like, I feel like the idea was good because normally when you put the giant's mask on, and I also like like the like, you know the cutscene that they added in, you know. With yeah, Link, that was that was cool. With like Link slamming the worms around, like it's cool. It's it's fine. I I like it. But if they were gonna do that, then they should have changed around the AI for the boss too. That oh, that was their problem. Mm -hmm. I feel like like the boss was acting the same way it normally does, where it just kind of wanders around aimlessly and you just have to like try to attack it. But if it if instead it was more like imagine instead it was like a kaiju battle where Link you know becomes big and you're fighting the, the like the two worms. Yeah, that would have been cooler. I think the idea was great. I like that idea a lot. They just, just like, they they changed one part of the boss fight without changing the actual boss, and they made it very <laughs> flawed in the process. Yeah, that was the problem. That was the. Real I remember problem. saying it. Like I remember like fighting it for like, I think at like, the five minute mark, I'm like, what am I supposed yeah. to do? I'm I think, like, I'm really lost. The first time I fought it and I got there, I was like, I, and I didn't know that the boss was different, you know. So I was like on the third day, and I just kept like, hitting the third it. Night. Like, I just kept punching it, and nothing was. Oh yeah, and you punch as opposed to using your sword. Yeah. Now, and yeah. I was like, nothing's happening. Yeah. I mean, it's not even that I didn't figure it out. It was just like the with the boss being so like because that boss isn't very interactive with like the player. That's like that's like one of those bosses in Zelda where it just kind of does what does his own thing, kind of like the boss of this coming temple actually, <laughs> the more like more feel. Oh, and on yeah. the last phase, it just kind of swims around and does his own thing. It's not a hard boss. It just it looks cool. I really admire for them that trying to change up every boss because they did try to do that. Yeah. But it's like hard. I, I don't know. It's like I want to. Um, if they were to re-release Majora's Mask for like the Switch, yeah, I feel like obviously they pick the the 3D version. Yeah, but it's I like, just hope they fix that. I though. prefer they they keep the bosses from the N64 version. Yeah, <laughs> at least their style. Yeah, because they changed all the bosses. Yeah, that's true. Like they gave them all like a very like obvious weak point as well. I didn't like that. I don't know. I just didn't. yeah. I I feel like there's definitely ups and downs to it, like. Um, them adding that like the eye for the for like for every goat? boss, yeah. Oh, that was that was that was. I don't think I don't know. I was like, mm, I, I thought the same thing. I was like, I we, really like we... just being a Goron and like having to like roll around and like hit him like that. I think that was really cool. well. Also, the I don't remember, I don't remember their names. I remember his goat. <laughs> goat is because, yeah, goat is because <laughs> this fucking he's a goat. His name is Goat. <laughs> the sword, the sword man from the first one too. Um, had a weak point ooh, now. I think his name starts with you. But yeah, he he had like a that was like just a regular sword fight, and then he changed it to be like this like weird eyeball on his back. It's like what? I mean, at least <laughs> what they did was they made they made being Deku Link more like oh yeah yeah they made it like actually make a difference now. Yeah, that's what I, I'm I saying. do like, like that. They it's they like had strange. There's ups and downs. There <laughs> yes. are ups and downs to like what they did. There's good changes and there's bad changes too. But I think the 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 only thing I I, I honestly disliked about the 3ds version was that change in like the boss some like for some of the boss fights like it was like really like the game was is like like fighting bosses especially is like you know even as a kid i feel like the bosses were pretty easy i mean all the games aren't really like they're not meant to be hard it's not they're like, just they're meant not to like be, dark soul or anything they just like, they just offer you like a challenge yeah but they made it even easier so i was like ah, you don't have to do that <laughs> well what one thing I did like was when you play the song of double time that you could pick the time you want to go to. That is awesome. That was better. Yes, that was a that, that was a welcome good. change. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, I know people are like, "We'll play the game was meant, the way it was meant to be played." I don't want to just sit and wait for time to go by because I'm just gonna sit here. If yeah. I could just pick the time I want to go to, I could do that. Yeah, I mean, it's a game, not you know. <laughs> You play a video game to kind of escape life, you know? And you actually want to... <laughs> what play, are you talking about? I play like, The Sims to play another life that I want to live. <laughs> I mean, it depends on the game, I guess. But <laughs> video games in general, a lot of it is uh, escapism in some kind of way. That's why I play like, a lot of video games. I've always told people, like, like, why do you play a lot? I'm like, it calms me down. Yeah. Not that I'm a rowdy, like, crazy person. I just meant, like, it's a good way for me to unwind and relax yeah. and just not think about, like, the problems yeah. going on in the world. Yeah. You can't some, sometimes you like really just like take a break from reality and it's the best way to do it in my opinion yep. I think it's the reason why we have a habit of playing games that we, we've already beaten yeah because of the familiar familiarity yes that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> shut up <laughs> but um you know that's just what it's like why do I play like certain games so many times because like 
I know what to do and it's just gonna calm me down. If I play a new game, which is not a bad thing, but I'll be like, alright, I have to pay attention. Sometimes I yeah. just don't want to pay attention when I play a game. I just yeah. want to relax. I mean, that's, that's why I like playing... Oh. That's why I like to like just play... Uh, like shooters, like... Shooters like Overwatch are games where you, like, you can just like... You already know the game, you can just jump in and start playing and have fun. Same with like Tekken for me. That's just that's just me though. Yeah, well, it varies from person to person. Yeah, of course. Where's the other guy? Like some people wouldn't want to play certain games that I play that calm me down. Like they'd be like, why would right. you play that? Yeah. Like for me, I would not play a shooter to calm down because people, other people would piss me off. But gotcha. to each his own. Like yeah. <laughs> different strokes for different folks. <laughs> yep. Hello. Let me just start it over. Oh, you do the scary scream. The scary scream. He, this is a scary scream. <laughs> So have you heard this is I didn't I thought this was fake when my sister sent it to me. <laughs> you know Scooby Doo has a lot of crossovers, right? Yeah. Did I you saw hear it. the new one? Yes. That's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> oh I was my like, God. I never thought I needed this in my exactly. life. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm look like I'm like, here. wow, I'm excited. <laughs> Can you look over here, you dumbass? Jeez. One. Look he at me. He was like, hey, don't look touch at me. me. Come on, come on. There yeah, there go. you go. I never knew that was a. I never knew that was something I needed. I was excited. Yeah, I was too. Someone like, like someone was like, finally, he's gonna have a friend that understands him. Yeah, that's <laughs> it's awesome, man. It's so so good. <laughs> By the way, I know I missed that tier, but I'm just gonna get it later. <laughs> I noticed that, but I was like, okay, <laughs> you're the Very one playing. Well. You're the one playing <laughs> the game. <clears throat> Wait, nope, that's not the right way. Well, actually. Is there one in the water? No, there's not one in the water. I think we're back to shore. Look at the way he doggy paddles. Yeah. I love a lot. A lot of the animations in this game. I like, I like a lot. That means all the games in this entirety are always, always polished. Yep. There's a reason the like Nintendo Zelda polish. games. There's a reason Nintendo games just take so long to come out because they literally test everything. Yeah. Unless it's like Mario people, Party, people always like, like complain you know. about like delays and stuff like that. I'm like, I, man, dude, I'm fine with delays as long as the game is gonna be good. Exactly, That's exactly how I feel. I mean, it sucks to wait. Like, I can agree, it sucks waiting, but yeah. I'd rather have a game that's polished and complete as opposed Where to playing. Where am I going right now? As me playing I'm the wrong way. I'm sorry. It's fine. <laughs> there is one right here, right? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go get the one that I killed earlier, so I stopped. <laughs> I was confused. like waiting for you to get it. So I stopped getting confused. I'll just get it now. So there's one. Get over there. You excited for Skyward Sword HD? I am excited for Skyward Sword HD. Do you see the the overview trailer they put out? It looks great. Uh, yeah, I watched a little bit of it. Oop, don't fall off. Yeah, it looks great. I mean, you already know people have mixed feelings about Skyward Sword, but I personally, and I know you do too. Dude, we played the game together. Yeah, I love that game. I couldn't, I could not beat it. I was like, I can't with these and controls. Like, but then you, then we played it. I'm like, I really, really like the story a lot. Yeah. And you know what? I'm finally gonna, I'm gonna beat it myself now. I'm playing. Yeah. Because and gonna, honestly, yeah. like the worst part about the game, probably the, the motion controls. They, 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 they just, they just took it out. There you go. They remapped it. Problem solved. It's like, uh, <laughs> what an analog stick. Yeah, you can use it with just like a like, cause they, you know, there's like people that have like the switch light. You can't use motion controls with that game with that. So they had to make a... That's also a problem when it comes to re-releasing games that were released in that kind of style. Yeah. Like, that's the reason why a lot of... Yeah, them. that's also the reason why a lot of 3DS games probably never got ported to Switch. Well, fine, you're fine. <laughs> I never played, um... I never played Kid Icarus, Kid Icarus Uprising. Oh, no. But I heard that was, like, that's a reason why the game would be... It would be difficult porting it to the Switch because it was meant to have, a, like, a touchscreen or something. Then, I don't yeah, know. some aspects. Did you play it? I played it, yeah. It's a really good game. I remember when everyone thought I was going to get an HD release on the Wii U and it never did. Never did, yeah. I want a sequel. Look at AC release. I want a sequel. <laughs> that's a really good game. That's the only Kid Icarus, that's the only Kid Icarus game I've ever played, but I don't care. Well, I mean, there's only like two Kid Icarus games. <laughs> it's that one and the original. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> You still have the chain on your like leg because you're a yeah. slave to the system. A slave to the system? Yeah. Damn. Do a little spin. 
Did you ever see um the very first Persona 5 trailer? Um, it's like it shows, yeah, yeah. shows a bunch of like like school yeah. chairs. Yeah, with like with like balls and chains. Yeah, and it's like the... you want emancipate. It was like you want to be emancipated. Like it's like the game is nothing like this. Yeah, seriously. that's kind of funny. And then it was like releasing summer 2014 on PS3. Yeah. Okay, the game did not come out for another three years. Yeah. So that's another game. Another game that got delayed so many times. Mm -hmm. And look at how incredibly polished the game yeah. is. I wouldn't say it's the best story in the series or it has the best cast of characters. But like, <clears throat> the game is like was very very polished. The yep. gameplay was tight. They put so much in that game. They didn't have to go so hard, but they did. Oh no! Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> it's okay. I still I, think to this day. I get um, it right here. Not too bad. I still think as much as I loved Persona Five because I put it in my top ten favorite games of all time. Yeah. I still think Persona Four is a better cast. Yeah, I mean. But that's just personal preference. Yeah. Honestly, I, I would. Probably agree with you. I feel like the cast from Persona 4 is more memorable. Well, what I said too, my thing is they actually felt like a group of friends. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> this is just me. So people don't agree with it. Oh, yeah, I said I feel like the Persona 5 cast were the, are the friends that only hang out when Joker's around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, they, like, it's like all mutual friends and that's it. I mean, they're better than per the Persona 3 cast. Yeah, I, once again, we talked about this a long time ago on <laughs> these videos. Oh my god. The, um. Die! The Persona 3 cast feels like co-workers. Yeah. Yeah, not feeling that. Well, I forgot I could lock onto them. Makes it a lot easier. Oh, that's so annoying. I'm not trying to get too too fast. I don't want to get in front of them like that. You Wait. can always just... You can always just, like, hit something and then just start over again. That's true. But they're not, they, they keep flying forward, so that's why I was just saying, let them get in front of me. Lock onto it. I tried. Oh, that's so fucking annoying. Sorry. Right. For this one. That's fucking and that's so annoying. Come here, bitch. Come here. There we go. Alright, one more. Come on, come on. This this thing's almost finished. <laughs> yeah. There, there we go. go. Right at the there tip. There you go. Right at the end of it. Nice. Now he just needs to fly through. Very good. When it comes to game, no, I, I I think the only reason I keep mentioning like certain game series on this like video or like this just series, yeah, I don't know. I like talking about games that really change my outlook on life. That yeah. sounds like really weird. This doesn't sound that weird. But, I like, mean, the I, thing about like, cause you know, video games are art, and art in general can do that. Like, the, the number of times that people have like, you know, you ever, you know, standing ovations are supposedly meant as like, this this thing I just saw changed my life. That's why I'm standing up right now. That's what that originally was supposed to be like people stand up to clap all the time but originally it was meant as like this was so fantastic and amazing that i'm gonna stand up from my seat to show how, how appreciative i am of you all right and then yeah like art for art in general is oh, yeah, i have to talk to her i forgot art in general can can change your life you know this is it's what makes it's part of what makes us human because like you know machines nowadays can copy a lot of the things that we can do as humans but they can never copy art like that's just part that's like a product of human imagination and nothing else yeah that's a good way to put it yeah <sighs> aren't there supposed to be things here oh no 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 not yet that's when you're right i know this is probably controversial because you know a lot of the company has not aged well but you know i like the game heavy rain a lot yeah that was a game like i know it's not the best story i know it i know now and like i do kind of back then as well but it was a game that showed me that a story can be told in a video game yeah like it was it did tell me that you can do that it doesn't have to be like crazy you can tell a good story yeah have pretty like okay gameplay and still like get your point across yeah and i was like i don't know when i was like 17 that was very fascinating to me mm -hmm. because i was like it's like a movie but it's longer yeah and i'm playing through it as much as i i love i love movies but I, I feel like a movie's biggest shortcoming is you're limited on the story you can tell mm. but you do get prettier visuals yeah <laughs> i think this is um This is not. This is not in shadow. It's. I can't even tell what it is. How am I forgetting this right now? It's the it's the spirit one. But what's the name of it again? That's Nocturne of Shadow. No, that's not. That's Nocturne of Shadow is the 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 Shadow Temple one. The Spirit Temple one is. Oh, you're talking about the spirit. Oh, I, 
I'm sorry, I get spirit and shadow confused. Oh, no, no, I get it. <laughs> they're, like, they're very similar. <laughs> Two yeah. sides of the same coin. I'm just remember what the name of the spirit temple song was. We're getting right now. There's Nocturne of Shadow, Serenade of Water. Um, Minute of Forest, Minute of Forest, of Fire. Bolero of Fire. Prelude of Light. Something Spirits Requiem? I don't know. S is it? <laughs> this is gonna eat me alive. I'm like, I'm gonna be asleep and then randomly like wake up like, oh, it's spirit of whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that happens to me all the time. I'm like, yeah. oh, that was a thing. We're not hanging out anymore, so I can't tell. <laughs> yeah. Basically, they said, oh, Prince Rudo went this way. Let's go follow him. There you go. <laughs> they swim really funny. They do. All right, let's look at the map real quick. To just go straight to Zoro's main and then go down here, it's probably faster. But I could warp up there too, because I, I can I can just warp that. there. So I Dude, I think I would just do that. <laughs> Don't even like waste your breath. <laughs> yeah, so I'm saying I think I'm gonna go down here to Castle Town, and then warp up here. You know Is there I mean? one in Castle Town? Yeah, there's one in Castle Town. That's so annoying. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like I'm gonna go down the river, follow them, and then I'll warp to Zoro's main. The old ones are up there. Oh, okay then. Yeah. Just around the river bend. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Pocahontas. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where did those Zoras go? Good question. They got eaten alive. By what? <laughs> I don't know. Like there's, what there's is no what other fish creature type thing the could plant. be in the water? A the, plant? <laughs> yeah. You're right. The plant's got them. That's <laughs> you play Pokemon as their weakness. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. <laughs> the music, the battle music. For I the, know, I know. It always, it's, it's weird. I, I kind of like it. I no, I mean, like it very, it fits the tone <laughs> it so does. well. But it's like, it's really it, weird. You know, what it reminds me of what? Uh, Earthbound's battle music. For for in certain cases where like you know you're finding like a, a weird opponent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really think that's a very, very, very unique game. Oh, we're found, yeah. It's very unique. It's easily my uh, favorite. We've also JRPG. talked about that here more than one time. Yeah. I don't know, like, uh, that's another game I feel has, has aged very, very well. Yeah. Like, if they were to remake it, I would not want them to make it a 3D game. I would like oh, remake it, like the make the sprites HD. That's all yeah. you have to do. I would say the same treatment that they gave to like Diamond and Pearls HD remake. That's what I would probably want. That would be cool. Yeah, that that would be nice. Hey. Man, I really wish Nintendo would give more love to their, their some of their IPs. I'm That's glad Nintendo that Nintendo for you. Yeah, I'm glad that Metro is starting to have, have a comeback though. That's really nice. That I was shocking. Say. I remember announcing was, Metroid Prime 4 and then Metroid Dread 2. Like, I remember people were like, are you ready to be <laughs> people were like, are you ready to be disappointed at Nintendo's E3 when they announced no Bayonetta and no Metroid? I was like, I well, they right. announced Metroid something. <laughs> they didn't announce right. Bayonetta 3, but they announced Metroid. Yeah. <laughs> they were half right. They were. Right, let's go get that bug and then we can work out. Um I don't remember where it is. Well I think we'll it's Well we'll find out next time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even look at the time. You're right. <laughs> what? That's your job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see what that bug is next time. Peace out, guys. See ya. You were running in place. <laughs>